In this video, I'm going to show you how to make header stickers. So that used to be the name that people would call those boxes that said morning, day, night in the Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. But over the years, it's kind of just come to just be whatever size that you want, and you can put whatever text that you want in them as well. So basically, it's like a rectangle sticker with text only. You could do to-do, checklist, you could do the days of the week, you put any text that you like. You can also make them any size that you like. I'm going to assume that you would want to make them for a vertical planner, and I'm going to do the happy planner size. So the happy planner columns are 1.5 inches wide in the classic size vertical, so that is the size I'm going to use. Now the little strips of color in between the happy planner boxes are only about 2 mils, so it doesn't really matter. We don't have to make them um, the same size to cover them up like you would in the Erin Condren, for example. So you can make them whatever um, height that you like. So I'm going to come over here to the rectangle tool, left click on this draw a rectangle, and I'm just going to left click and drag and make it whatever size that I want. It doesn't really matter because we've got the dimensions up here that we can add in ourselves. So the height I'm going to go with um, it's already in inches, just keep that in mind, whatever metric you want to use. I'm going to go with 0 0.25, and I'm making my cut line, by the way. We'll make another um, one that will be our actual sticker, which you've probably already seen me do in the icon stickers tutorial. So you have one sort of layer is your cut line, and then behind it is the actual sticker. So then if the blade slips, it will still pick up the color, and there won't be any white um, around the outside of them. And then the width will be 1.5 inches, and I'm just going to lock that off and now this one here we can right click and then duplicate and now the second one that we have I'm going to increase that so in here I'm going to go add 0.5 and press enter um, it didn't really work proportionally there so I'll just do it manually instead so I want 0 0.3 high and then I want 1.55 wide the reason being is that if I've got this as 1.5 then my background 1.55 I've got that extra little bit there in case the blade slips assuming so we can see this a bit better. Now we need to turn off the color of this outline because we don't want the machine to cut that and then add a fill color. You can pick whatever color that you want. I'm going to go with orange. Now you want to move this one over the top so you can see that it's going behind it. So you need to right click and then choose bring to front, front and then drag it over and it kind of locked itself like snap. You can feel your mouse kind of auto move on its own to align it, but I always just double check anyway. So left click and drag. So those two layers are selected. And then up here is the align tools. But for that reason, you see it kind of like disappears when I try and click on it. I prefer to actually come over here and use this side menu one because this is a fixed um, menu. It doesn't like disappear when you hover off it. It stays there. So they're aligned correctly. Now we can add our text. Just close that one, get it out of the way. So come over here to the text tool and then just left click wherever you want and you can add whatever text I'm going to go with um, to do. I press control A to highlight all the text I've just written, kind of like if you've ever used Microsoft Word, this like becomes your text box. You can move it all as one um, like piece, you're not moving individual letters. I'm going to make it white because I've got that colored background and again turn off the red outline because I don't want that to cut. Now it's obviously really big, um, way too big for the sticker size that we've chosen, so I'm just going to shrink that down. You can change the font um, style as well. I actually don't mind this one. I know Arial is kind of like a boring generic font, but at least it's simple and it's got nice block text. You can make it bold, italics or whatever else you want to do. You can add plenty of other um, fonts in here and change it up if you prefer. Um, I do have a list of resources with some good fonts if you're looking for some. Try and use ones that most other people um, haven't so then you've got a bit of point of difference in your stickers. And much like we did with aligning the cut layer with the background, you want to align your text to the center and the middle as well. I know that was only a subtle little move, but if you zoom in a bit, it really is noticeable if, for example, you have your text sitting too close to the bottom and not enough um, to the top. So just align it correctly. Now I do prefer to have a bit of a gap between the edge of the letters and the edge of the cut line. I think it looks a bit disproportionate if I make this text really big um, like this and then it's sitting right on the edge. It doesn't look um, so obvious when it's on your screen because you do have this extra little bit and it's just when you print it out, you'll see what I mean. If you do keep it at that font size, it just looks disproportionate. So keep that in mind. Maybe do some test prints on just a normal piece of copy paper first before you go ahead and print and cut your stickers. That's what I always do. I'll put a whole bunch of these templates on a piece of paper and do test prints of checking colors, fonts, font style, font size, all that stuff before I actually go ahead, print it on label paper and go ahead and cut it. 
So keep that in mind. Um, that's literally it. That's all you need to know how to do to do a header sticker. If you did want to resize this though for say another planner, if you left click and drag, you'll select all of those layers, right click and then group. And now you can move this whole thing as one piece. Also makes it handy if you want to recolor or if you want to um, copy, if you've got multiple silhouette files open, you can copy and paste in between the two if you're creating like a sticker kit. You don't have to go and recreate what we just did from scratch and it only takes a couple of minutes, but if you're going to be doing a lot of them, well, like why bother? You've already made it, just copy and paste it. Um, so anyway, so we've got one here. We can right click copy and then right click paste or you can right click and choose duplicate or you can do control C and then control V on your keyboard to make multiple copies. And then you can also resize it. So let's put that lock on and hopefully it will work this time. Let's say you wanted something that was two inches. You can see it'll bump it up a bit. Um, I personally would be probably unlocking it and making sure it's the exact um, dimensions that you want. So you need to measure your planner first. Um, if you do need to change an element, if when you resize it up, it's not proportional to how you want it to look you can just ungroup and then change the individual layer that you want so maybe you've decided you actually want this text to be bigger you can do that little manual adjustment um, up to you so that's how you do the header stickers I do have some suggested um, labels a list of them in the e-course as well if you want some ideas but you really cannot go wrong with things like to do some days of the week stickers maybe like meals habit tracker all those usual things that you would be using your planner for anyway and you can do individual labels as well so if you have a family planner maybe you want to put each family member's name on one of these stickers so there's plenty um, of ideas and there's a list of that in the course as well